Shalom, Kahala Yahawa, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rukwakwadash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the elect, who the house of David will be born again in this generation. And Shalom to the 130 Yasharala, who today are known as the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, who before losing their true heritage were known as and still are the true Hebrew Israelites of the Holy Bible. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about how not everybody is going to get this truth of the Bible. Now, the reason I bring this up is because I had some a few events come up that uh, you know just reiterated to me how this truth the, uh, of the Bible, that being the true narrative of the Bible as it is spoken by the, the, the true prophets of the Lord that are back again in this time, which would be the starting with the apostles of Great Millstone on down, the men of, of, of Great Millstone and also those other camps who teach like them, right? The, the one third for the most part uh, and the 144,000, right? The, the, the true narrative that these people are, are gonna, gonna have, Lord willing, that, that's also me. Now, uh, I was talking yesterday to, to a nice person, right? The, you know, somebody I'm pretty cool with. And for the first time, you know, we've always gone back and forth talking about, um, uh, you know, things spiritually, right? You know, spiritually alluding to, to that we both are believers. And, and, you, and you all know how that works, man. You know, you can tell when somebody's a believer, somebody isn't, you know, they make certain references, uh, say certain things. And you understand, well, the other day, um, you know, we actually had a, a, a real discussion about the scriptures. Now, you know, uh, you know, I already know that, that this truth isn't going to going to get to everybody. Right. And and uh, the thing is, is um, this guy, he's a he's a died in the wool Christian. Right. He comes from uh, his mother and his father are, you know. Uh, church going, you know, Baptist Christians, you know, you know, believe that the angels in Genesis 6 that came down were fallen angels that rebelled against God, you know, and they followed Satan and all that, you know, bullshit, right? And we were talking and everything and, you know, and I, I decided, I was like, well, you know, let me go ahead and, um, uh, you know, while I was talking to him, you know, he brought up some of these false, false uh, doctrines and, and I was like, well, let me go ahead and hit him with a bit of, uh, of reasoning and hit him with a couple of scriptures that contradict what he had to say, right? One about, you know, we went into the pre-tribulation rapture talking about, you know, because these Christians believe that before all the tribulation is going to happen, that the Lord's going to come down and, and take them and that they're not going to have to go through it, right? And, you know, I, you know, cut that with some scriptures and, and you know, he read it and, and, or, you know, he heard me, you know, reading it right out of the Bible and <laughs> What he say? The first thing he brought up, he's like, "What Bible is that?" Right? It was like, I mean, that, that right there is like the first, is the uh, first, uh, uh, you know, hint or, or, or clue that the per person's not gonna get it. Okay, uh, if if you are a true believer uh, of um, of the Bible, you understand that you know, for the most part, all scriptures. You know, for the most part, they all reference one particular Bible, right? The King James Version Bible, right? So, you know, for the other, for the most part, other Bibles will uh, will somewhat say the same thing. So, you know, if somebody brings up a scripture and it goes against your belief, more than likely, it's 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 a your belief is wrong, right? Unless unless the scripture that's being read is is, is a out of a crazy ass uh, translated version of the Bible. But again, I digress. But and then there was another time, you know, uh, earlier this week that I spoke with a, a family member, right? And you know, with all the things going on, we're starting to see a lot of people uh, coming out of the woodworks, wanting to actually do something about the the, the lockdowns, the you know, the, the writing on the wall that they can see, right? And this cousin was um, they wanted to, to to you know to go out and, and get get prepared. Right? in prepper style, right? And then I had to, you know, break it down to them, right? That, hey, look, you know, that's all well and good, but, you know, without having the truth on your side, not without have, being on the side of the Lord, the Lord's going to trip you up. He's going to make you, you know, 
not be where your your food supply is at when when the shit hits the fan right he's gonna make your uh your gun jam up he's gonna you know he's gonna make make you uh make you folly and, and and slip up in that day when when whatever you have created to save yourself is required now you know he got a little bit of this right and you know but the thing is 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 um you know, a lot of people, you know, once you, you, you give them the truth, they, they just can't get it. There is something in their mind that just doesn't click, right? And, but, you know, and like I said, I, I know this, right? This is why when I spoke to these people, you know, I didn't get all, you know, heated and frustrated, you know, get upset with them. All I did was, you know, I acknowledge that, hey, you know, well, let's agree to disagree, you know, and all right, well, you know, read, read the Bible, you know. Type thing, and I, you know, kind of just, you know, brushed my, you know, dust. What is it? Shake the dust off my feet, and I left it where it, it is at. And the reason I bring this up is because not only did I go through these events, but uh, I wanted to remind a lot of you, Akim, out there, is that you know, in this time, we're gonna start having a lot of um, friends, family, strangers, who are gonna bring up, you know, the the question, right? What are we to do now? Like the, the the Bible says, man, be ready to to, uh, to to tell people what is the what is your hope in salvation, right? But the point is, is that is, is once you could tell that these people just aren't going to get it, once you start seeing that they're bucking up against the, the truth, then you got to just let it go, right? Because like this ultimately is 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 scriptural. This is. Uh, this is an example of it, of what the Messiah himself said. This is Matthews 13 and 10. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. For whosoever hath to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance but whosoever hath not from him shall be taken away even that he hath. Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they seeing see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. So you see that? So the Messiah made it very plain that there's going to be some people out there that though you could you could tell them plainly, you could explain it to them as if they were a five-year-old child, they're just not going to see it, right? They're not going to understand, you know, what you're trying to say to them. And it's not because what you're saying is uh, is is off, right? It's because what you are saying isn't isn't uh, locking in to their spiritual connection, man, to their spiritual body, man. One, because either they're not meant to get this truth, right? Because they are not an Israelite, that being a Negro, Latino, Native Indian, or anybody whose father's lineage goes back to that bloodline or that they belong to what's known as the two-thirds group right the two-thirds of israel that will not get this now besides that right the the, the this was also prophesied in the old testament that this would, would also happen right and this is uh talking about how uh when you know the word will come back on you know in the form of the messiah that, that how the word would be spoken, right? It wouldn't be spoken in a plain manner, right? This is, this is Psalm 7, 8 and 2. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings of old, which we have heard and known, and our fathers have told us. We will not hide them from their children, showing to the generation to, generation to come the praises of Yahweh Bashim Shai, right? So you see, so so this was also a prophecy that 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 the Messiah, when he would come down the road, that that he would also write in in he would also say these uh these truths and and declare the like it tells you here he would declare um, which was heard in the previous generations by the fathers in a parable, man. And that's because not everybody is meant to get this. And one other way that you could see that not everybody is about to get this 
is there's a prophecy, man. There's a prophecy that would tell you that there's going to be two out of every three Negro Latino Native Indians, and whosoever fathers goes back to that lineage, that will not uh, be permitted to have this understanding, right? This is Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass that in all of the land, right, that's basically the earth, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. But the third shall be left therein. Okay, so two thirds is a, uh, or two parts is basically two, um, two thirds, right? Two out of every three Negro Latino Native Indians and fought, and whosoever father's lineage goes back to that line, right? That, this is the prophecy that was was declared by by uh, the Lord, which has to play out. So, you know, so if you have the understanding of what's actually going on, if you are following these videos and you believe, you, you truly believe, right? You know, count that a blessing, right? Count it a blessing that the Lord did not put uh, an angel on you to, uh, to to cut the understanding of what's going on. And, and, and that he put an angel on you to give you the understanding, to give you the truth of, of, of the Bible, right? And, and the crazy thing is, man, is that this truth isn't given to, to the, the people who the world would think would be considered men of God, right? Because you got people like T.D. Jakes, Joel Olstein, you know, uh, people like Steve Harvey, you know, all these people out there, man, who people think are godly, good people, right? That are doing God's work and all this bullshit, right? But the Lord didn't give them anything, man. The Lord is sending them, uh, you know, it tells them, it tells you in the, in, the, in the New Testament that the Lord would send them uh, great delusions so that way they could believe a lie and be condemned and destroyed ultimately, right and uh and and because you see what's happening is that understanding right that comes from a from a from a spiritual being an angel that is you know basically over that person man just cutting the understanding of that person be it that you know he, you know it makes makes uh, them get a call when they're about to understand something uh basically makes them uh you know be in love with things like football you know we had that big uh, the the super bowl just happened man right or it could simply be just somebody you know an angel just literally just cutting off the understanding or or leading that person down events in their life which would not permit them to to gravitate towards the truth or you know have a certain understanding right because you know the thing about this this the bible man and the understanding is one you have to have a, a, a deep understanding and appreciation for history right because ultimately you know that's a lot of the bible because it's a real the bible is a true book it, it took place in our existence our history it has a lot of things to do with history right now that being said Right? You're going to find that a lot of these two-thirds, these people who are not going to get the understanding, you know, they fall into this lot here that's written in 1 Corinthians 2 and 14. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. Right? So these people are spiritually retarded, man. They, they, they can't get it. Right? They're dumb in their in their spirit world, spirit mind, right? They think everything is, is about this world. They're they're cardinal, right? They're natural man as the Bible, you know, refers to them as. Right? These are the people who you may see as as, as successful people here, people who are rich or you know, all about the you know, getting be, becoming successful here in, in uh, uh, you know the world, America, wherever they are in the in, in the earth. Right, but what what's going on is that though they may call themselves spiritual and they may you know once in a while go to church on Christmas and you know for other you know rare events to Easter, right? They're just doing it for show, right? They're doing it so that way they could have an appearance of godliness, but they haven't actually cared enough about the truth about the Lord, about finding out what the truth is to be able to actually study what needs to be studied and look into what needs to be looked into right because you know it's funny man there's a that famous uh uh, uh Issacharite uh singer pitbull right he was on a show and they were talking about this you know the whole c19 
And he, he put it very plainly and beautifully, man. He said, this thing goes deep. And he was talking about the, the pandemic and how everything is, is being orchestrated and everything. He says, this thing is deep, right? And, and he's all, but he's all, you have, to, you have to be willing to realize how deep it is, right? And that's the truth, man. A lot of people, they don't want to know what the truth is, man. They don't want to take time or they're simply just too afraid if they go, if they get too much into the truth, right? Because ultimately they're enjoying their life. They think that if they delve too much into certain things, they're going to be, be de disra derailed from their, their mission, right? When unmistakably to them, they believe that making it in this world is their, their, their mission, right? But that's not the truth, man. This, this illusion of making it in this world is the, uh, false lie that is set up by by this world to deceive you negro latino native indians now that isn't true for all these other heathens it's caucasians japanese indians all these other 17 nations of the world this is their time this is the mission of their lives to make their t their time here on earth during this current you know uh dispensation of time right during the during the the, the kingdom of edom to to make it right to to be happy right this is their heaven Right, but for you Negro Latino Native Indians, this is not for you to. Uh, this is not the time for you to uh, make it, to build your kingdom, to have that empire that that uh, we are constantly being told that we have to go after. Right, and I had one more scripture, and I just wanted to, you know, then after this we'll, we'll get out of here. But I just, you know, thought this was a, a, a good script here. You know, this is Ecclesiasticus 21 and 19. Doctrine unto fools is as fetters on the feet and like manacles on the right hand, right? Because you see, these people, like I just said, right? They think really getting into the Bible, getting into the truth, they think that once they, you know, turn to the Lord or they get into the Bible, that it's going to fuck up their whole life, right? Not understanding that their life, the life that they believe is, is a, is a great life you know their their white picket fence their you know family the the job that they're given right you know even though they may be dealing with a, a dickhead boss and these fucked up tax laws and all this you know fucked up government corruption even though they they're okay with that right they think that 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 the truth of the bible having the true understanding of the, of the most high and what the true narrative is you know of the world they think that's gonna be like a like like a chain onto them. They think it's gonna be a, a, a punishment as fetters on the feet. Those are those chains uh, um, that prisoners used to wear, man. Right? But the truth is, is like what the Lord said in in the, the Gospel of John, right? You shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Right? That's that's what that's the ultimate truth. But you see, the devil that currently runs this world, man, he has done a mighty great work of deception upon the entire world you know that have has not woken up that is still stuck in this world man they literally believe that they are you know that that they're doing good by themselves man not knowing that they are uh, they are their worst enemies and that they are you know filthy and decrepit man as the scripture said but you know i just want to touch upon this i came, wanted to get into some scriptures you know didn't have too much uh you know news right now to to go into there's so many uh, things going on like always but you know right now I've been seeing so many brothers uh, taking taking on a lot of these news news videos that I'm gonna go ahead and leave that for them and I just wanted to get into the scripture so uh, hopefully this video will edifying in and until the next time I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Bashem Rukokodash double honors my teachers the apostles and elders of great millstone peace and mercy to the elect Shalom